So you're thinking putting exhaust extractors on your vehicle, are you? Well, exhaust extractors are useful uh, for improving engine performance, not just in high performance vehicles, you know, you hot it up V8, that kind of thing. But also, for example, in this condition, we've got a diesel engine, a six cylinder naturally aspirated diesel engine, and a Toyota Land Cruiser. Now, why would you put extractors on, on one of these big old things? Now, um, one feature of large diesel engines in four-wheel drives is they use a lot of fuel. And this improvement in engine efficiency reduces the fuel consumption. In this case, quite a lot. In fact, this is quite a popular modification on Land Cruisers. Now, the way the extractors work is very simple. It uses the Bernoulli effect, you know, the Venturi effect, whatever you want to call it. Uh, by having these pipes, rather than having the cast iron header, that the manufacturer puts on, these pipes are worked out by the designer of these extractors to be the right length so that when the pulse of the engine is working along here, these pulses come down in there and they join together in that tube there at the bottom, which I'm pointing at, I hope you can see, which is called the collector, so that the pulse from one cylinder will suck or create a, a suction type effect on another cylinder so that the, these actually suck the exhaust gas out if you want to put it that way that's a bit of a simplistic way of explaining it but because of that the ability of the engine to get exhaust gas out of the engine is greatly improved now that improves volumetric efficiency and it can prove power I'm no doubt this engine is more powerful but you don't notice it so much on a 2.7 ton four-wheel drive but it certainly improves fuel economy. This vehicle is very good for fuel economy. In fact, um, uh, I get uh, about 27 miles to the gallon for overall running around. And on the highway, constant highway speed, I'll get about 30 miles to the gallon out of this big uh, diesel um, full drive. that weighs 2.7 ton. But uh, when I first bought it, I bought it with the extractors on. Uh, and it wasn't running too good. Uh, it was running a bit rough, you know, at idle in particular. And uh, I didn't feel I was getting the most out of this, this set of extractors. So when you, you've fitted something to a, an engine that modified it from standard, you have to think about, you know, you're changing things in one area, what's happening in another area? Well, you're, you're, you're scavenging exhaust gas out quicker from that side of the engine that's clearly going to change the requirements of the fuel delivery system. Now in this case it has a mechanical um, fuel injection pump. Now you may have a hulking great a big block uh, Mopar V8 with a big holly carb on. Well that's another kind of fuel delivery system. Or perhaps you've got a newer engine that's got computer controlled fuel injection. Well that's another kind of fuel delivery system. But they're fuel delivery systems. You've changed the vehicle from standard manufacturer specifications to something else so you've got to change the fuel delivery system and tune it basically to suit the new condition in the engine and don't assume you know more than the manufacturer who put the thing together in the first place now in this case um, these kind of tuning modifications uh, are uh, reasonably complex and probably best done by specialists now in the case of a uh, engine with a holly carburetor for example holly's are carburetors are specifically built so you can you can purchase different jet sizes and so on and if you muck around with it you can get it very good uh, yourself but to do a real top job of it you know to know that it's perfect you should get the engine put on a, a, a dyno and uh, with an exhaust gas analyzer in it and get someone who really knows what they're doing to put the engine under all the load conditions and, and through all the rev ranges that will occur and all the extremes of driving and tune the fuel system accurately to the new exhaust system. Now in this case I had this done by a fuel injection firm. Uh, I bought the car with the extractors on. Um, I took the opportunity to actually get the, the fuel injection pump fully reconditioned. It didn't need it but uh, this is a full drive vehicle that I take in remote off-road conditions. I basically just wanted to check out to make sure that it was all um, working 100%. And 
and it's a lot easier to do while you're going through the process. So I had the thing reconditioned, but it was with a, the uh, fuel injection specialist, and my instruction to them was, after you've done the um, cleaned up the injection pump, take it to a dyno and put the exhaust can analyzer on it and adjust it, which you can do quite easily with mechanical injection, uh, under real load conditions. Um, so that it's perfectly tuned to the new extractor system. So they did that. Now that cost me a few dollars, but I can tell you that I've certainly uh, got my money back in the improved fuel economy since that was done. Um, it creates quite a difference. But bear that in mind, if you change the exhaust system on your vehicle, then you're going to have to change the tuning of the fuel delivery system, whatever you've got on your engine at the same time or else it won't run at optimum. In fact, it may run very badly. You might put a set of extractors on and it'll be running very poorly. It may actually drop the power. It may have very rough idle. It may start using up an awful lot of fuel. Uh, it's not because the extractors are faulty, but you've got to tune your fuel delivery system in to your new exhaust pipe. Okay.